Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Once again, that sneaky Saskatchewan seal skin shillelagh maker. And slid a proper tool in my mail slot. Ha <laughs> ha, step ahead of you, I says. The wife, she prefers them purple and well veined. Look at the size of that. She's a girthy tool. Uh, oh yeah, hand tool rescue. Made this, uh, if you recall, we made, me and Krista Prisco, well, mainly Krista Prisco, made one of these out of titanium a while back. And this one is not that. It's 1044. We shipped that one off to NASA for testing. It ended up in uh, uh, an art show in Dusseldorf. I never did get any photos from it, but if and you took in that show, it was uh, indentured in some fantabulous art. Hey, VE, finally made the screwdriver we talked about years ago for production sale, but at a ridiculously large scale. I don't think that's ridiculously large. Work as a drag link, also as a twacking thing, but more importantly, fella asked to borrow your biggest screwdriver, <laughs> you hand him this. Glanden first, of course. I ought to get a chuckle out of him. I like it. It's 1144 steel, patented in 1904 by Willem Ward. Weighs one pound, got some 3D CAD models and templates and so forth. So for to make scales. Huh? 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 No small irony, we find ourselves back at the terminal. That's what I tell the wife anyway. Confusion 360. We're cheaper than all the rest. I paid my license fees for another year. Thank you, patrons. And so I get to be a beta tester, which of course just means that uh, everything's on the cloud, someone else's computer. And uh, they add and retract features willy nilly. However, because it's a tenth of the cost of SolidWorks, this is what we use. And not to say, if you're using it every day, I'm sure it's fine for what it is. There are professional machinists that use it, but yeah. 
In any case, it's like the Iron Sheik in wrestling. It's the, the heel. <laughs> we love to hate it. If there's anyone out there what works for Autodesk, and I know you're not listening because you don't care, but for the love of all that is unholy, please give us fools on the stools a fighting chance by not making us beta test your software for you. Is it too much to ask? I guess it is. We're going to uh, just spot drill these. Because these are pinholes, we're going to chip break. We're going to rougher with a 3 8 three flute uh, stub rougher. Use these for all of the hammers, all of the copper parts. So they ought to be go good and dull, brassed off. And then a quarter inch three flute ball end bell. We'll stimulate this. Now this screwdriver, ceci n'est pas une pipe. Huh? This screwdriver is not a screwdriver. It's more of an objet d'art, which is like that René uh, Margaret, Marguerite, the Belgian fella with the pension for Granny Smith apples. He's an artist and that this is not a pipe has become so trite that it's not art anymore because it doesn't make you feel anything. But it goes to show that this is not a screwdriver. Its proportions are absurd. So it's something else entirely. Essentially, it's a joke, but a joke, what you can whack things with. I think it's fucking brilliant. Now we got this stub rougher just a fucking giving her. If you got a needle dick, you got to fuck like a sewing machine. That's what the Duclaw tells me anyway, I wouldn't know. It's best when he's not around to defend himself, of course. I'm sure there's a lot of extraneous moves here. However, we're just making the two. It's not a production run. That's the other thing is I didn't want to make soft jaws to carry this. So we just got a whole lot of carrying stock. And I'm going to come in here after the fact and manually saw that off. Well, maybe, maybe we'll do a slitting saw operation, but I don't think I have a slitting saw that's deep enough to get it all in one pass. So the interesting thing about this is in keeping with that Cecine Puzzling Pip, this is not, this is a, to you, it's a two dimensional representation of a bunch of ones and zeros. Well, there's that whole thing, uh, are we living in a simulation? People saying we're, we're actually living in a simulation. And of course we're living in a fucking simulation because everything that you see and know is only in betwixt your two ears. It's simulated in your head. So, because we're doing the simulation, we don't know what the aesthetic effect of this ball end mill is actually gonna be. That's part of the magic of this whole process because a two dimensional representation digitized and pixelated on a screen holds nothing in comparison to holding the girthy unit right in your dirty dick beater. You know what I'm saying?
Ah ben, tavernac, espèce de mongol baveux, pâté chinois, un peu de la merde. He made the pins two different fucking sizes. Fuck!